Watching WZDX Sports, sponsored by Jacksonville State University. Coach Chris Willis and his staff will lack the depth on the offensive and defensive lines this spring. And because of that, the staff decided to change up the format for this year's purple and white spring game. This year, one side represented the offense while the other represented the defense. The purple and white game serving as the final scrimmage of the spring, but it wasn't the final practice. Second quarter, Rhett Rock fouls in at quarterback. He's pressured and he's sacked by Kendarius Davis. The purple defense really come into play today. They led at the break 16 to 11. In the second half, the offense finally gets going for the white. Team Blake Dever rolls out, sets his feet, and launches a bomb down the field. He'll connect with Andre Little, and Little makes a big play right here. Flip with a tackle and gets in the end zone for a 46 yard score. And how do you celebrate, Mary? You hit a backflip right there that puts them up 19 to 16. But the defense would respond quickly. Dever trying to throw a quick screen, and he's intercepted by Brady Owensby. As we mentioned, the defense did come to play today. Let's go to the fourth quarter now. The white team knocking on the door. Jawan Howell taking the hand up, cuts it back, and finds pay dirt from nine yards out. And he finds our camera right there. White team up 26 to 22. Late in the game, white team trying to um, trying to put a dagger in this game. But how about the defense coming up with a big interception? Jarrell Green with the turnover. So the, by, the ball game is tied at 26. Coach Willis tells his team one final play to happen. Either offense is going to win it or defense is going to win it. Duncan Hodges rolls out, finds Israel Washington. Look at number six, make the great catch, and he finds the end zone for a touchdown. The white team goes on to win 34 to 26. Coach Willis likes the physical nature of the game today. But it came out to be a competitive game, and we scored there. It was tied up and scored at the end. And so uh, entertaining, uh, a lot of action. Uh, but the biggest thing I saw today was just the physical play uh, up front by both offensive line and defensive line and how hard the running backs ran the ball. The Lions kick off their season at home with a Thursday night game against Western Illinois. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. on August the 29th.